game plus five. I can't lower this, can I? Anyway, if it's loud, it, it's probably loud. Where'd my mouse cursor go while I'm fighting? It leaves? Is that new? Oh, that's a new update. Your mouse is gone while you're playing. That's new. Um, so the way this game works is you control a cute little snake. Um, and every chain of the snake is somebody that you're drafting, like an auto battler. And creating synergies and just like an auto battler if you get three of the same unit it levels up to level two if you get three level twos it levels up to level three and then we're also going to be pairing up subclasses and stuff like that so right now we have a magician swordsman um and we have two dollars we can buy two more to our link um so we can go early damage we can take a cleric i'm down for whatever let's take uh let's do something fun we'll go like arcanist cleric here and keep running it. I'm going to put the swordsman in second is fine. Yeah, we'll swap. Dude, 47 months is like such an insane number. I don't understand it. Uh, green enemies have special properties. It's nice that the mouse is not on the screen, but it's definitely taking me some getting used to. I'm so used to like pointing at stuff. Wait, is that an option? Mouse control is all I see. Mm. Nice. We have magician number two if we decide to pick it up. I don't see anything good here. It's got like magician archer. Let's go scout. Magician Scout. This is going to be a hard wave. If I had to choose between this and Vivid Knight, which one would you say I would prioritize? This game is like $2. But Vivid Knight's also like one of my favorite games as of recently and like of the year so far. Um, but I also rate this one super, super highly. So I would say you can't go wrong with either one. Maybe... Vivid Knight has like more to sink your teeth into, but that's not to belittle this game at all. Yeah, this game is like $2 or something. That's crazy. And this game's also gonna be getting like, like I don't know, at $2 you can make it happen. Plus 20% movement speed. Every round, one mage is granted 100% attack speed and damage for that round, or amplify. These are all pretty good. I like the movement speed. I like being able to kite. I like amplify. We do have two mage right now. We have two mages, almost level two mage. Uh, and then this one just buffing a random mage on my team. These are all really nice. Uh, the AoE in general. I like the double attack speed, I think, more than the AoE damage for now. There could be some other cool, really cool mages, and giving them extra attack sounds pretty sweet, like the one that randomly hits people in the field. I don't know. We can go either way. Those were all good. I like them all. And there's Magician 2's. It was all a sign. It was all a sign. Double gunner. Pretty early, actually. Or we could stay at five and collect interest. Control, you don't play any TFT or auto battlers, do you? Get rid of Arcanist? Go like Rogue Ranger? So, uh, I if we... Uh, we could buy here, but I, I do want to sit at five. Like a comfy five here and make interest. That would be really nice at level four. It's kind of early. We could do it. Uh, I would have to, like, sell some stuff here. And I think that's fine if we go, like, an attack range kind of build. I also have to remember that wave 9 is nasty. That's what we've learned. At new game plus 4, wave 9 is nasty. I... Do 
Dual Gunner also has the most DPS in the game, somebody told me, right? We'd rather run mages anyway, I think. Eh, I don't know if that's true. So the blue guys explode when they die, and they do a ton of damage. We are hitting really hard. Oh my god. You can see the mage is shooting a lot faster, too. Yeah, that early DPS is actually insane. Coming out of the dual gunner. Squire gives us enchanter and buffs the whole party's the damage and defense by 20%. It's just really good altogether. Uh, this giving us ranger 2... We also have Scout here. We're sitting at 11. I don't know. Squire's like way too good right now. At that point, if we're going to go under 10, which is the next interest cap, every 5 is an interest cap that puts a 25. Um, We'll just spend. And now we'll sit at 5. So like, we're going to get the same amount of interest, whether we sit at 5 or we sit at 9. So like, just buying the extra stuff for now, we can always sell it back for the same price later. So there's no point in not doing it. This is my first attempt at New Game Plus 5, by the way, too. I don't know how scary it's going to be yet. So far, so good, but we didn't pass the level 9 hump. Wow, look at that piercing damage. That guy's scary. That's a killer right there. Those white ones, they uh, turn into a turret, and they are very mean. Nice hit, nice hit, nice hit. Okay, we're doing very well so far. Oh, you also want rounds. Yeah, rounds is another cheap, really good, like, multiplayer-ish party game. How is rounds doing? Uh, Archer is nice because it also gives us Archer uh, 1, which gives us an 8% chance to release a barrage, all archers. I would like to sell somebody so we can hit 10, ideally. There's no one to sell except Cleric here. Like, we could sell the healer. I think we sell at the healer for interest here. The healer's not doing anything yet. Oh, this is the elite wave, though. We're so squishy that I, I also don't think the cleric's going to do anything. Like, if they're below 50%, they're dead. You know? Like, I feel like. What do you guys think? Sell? Sell to hit 10? Hope to survive the elite wave? I don't know if cleric makes the difference. I don't think so. All right, six elite wave. I don't think this is the nasty one, but I don't know. We're on new game plus five. Yeah, I think we're fine here. I think selling was good. Nice barrages, nice barrages. Nice hits, nice hits. Keep shooting them, keep shooting them. Nice, elite dead. And we did it. All right, it was worth the sell. It was worth the sell. We could always buy another cleric. All right, next hump is level nine. Uh, three units will periodically take damage. All of your allies gain plus 8% damage per tick. This is our way to scale, especially if we're not planning on running um, Squire. But we do need a healer then, because like our units are going to take damage over time. But we also scale, which is really nice. Knockback force is really cute. Plus 10% damage, defense, and attack speed to all allies with at least one enchanter. So somebody told me that means if they're next to an enchanter, they get buffed. I'm going to go immolate here. We don't have a healer yet. I'm going to roll for a healer, I believe. This is kind of a healer, right? I don't fully understand how this guy works yet, to be honest. All 
all damage taken is stored up to 50% max HP and distributed as healing to all allies. That's kind of a healer. <laughs> and we have a lot of scaling now. And we also just hit Enchanter. So Enchanter level one uh, gives us plus 15% damage to all allies. So we're gonna hit a lot harder. We also hit Psyker, which powers up Psykers, which doesn't do anything for us right now. <laughs> Thank you, SD89. Oh my God. <laughs> you didn't have to do that, man. I'm just saying, dude. It it helps, man. It helps. I always see it for other content creators. I'm like, why don't I see it for me? Maybe I just don't like sell out enough and to like ask people to do it. You think that's what it is? Like, I definitely showcase as much games as him, if not more. I don't know. I don't understand. I don't sell it at all. I know I'm terrible at it. I'm really bad at like selling out or We actually don't need squire anymore It's giving us defense so there's a reason to keep him There is a reason to keep him But I also want to hit 10 Maybe it's just the type of people you attract or not used to it. That's true. I definitely I should get more vocal about like asking for that kind of stuff, especially if it doesn't cost money and like I'm not asking for that kind of support. <laughs> Sell Squire or just keep it? Maybe we shouldn't be too greedy before we pass wave nine. Okay, so all of our units are randomly going to take damage. Uh, and the flag, fla flagellant, is that how you say that? Um, is going to be randomly hurting himself to buff my whole team. But you can see how much damage we're doing. It's actually disgusting how much damage we're doing. Like, it's crazy how much damage output we have. Once I get a healer, I think we're gonna be really nice. Whoa. We'll buy Vagrant and sit over 15. Vagrant can sit in back. Last wave before the elite wave, I believe. I love that sound, bumping into the wall. No blue. I'm scared, guys. Hunter. Do we still have Magician? We Oh yeah, a Magician gets a uh, double attack speed. You know what? We might just rock one Magician. I really need a healer. That's a priest. Can I sell one? Wizard, shoot a projectile that deals 14 AoE damage. We do 28 AoE damage.
This is an interesting build. All right, here we go, guys. Wish me luck. If this is the nasty wave that I remember, this is not going to be pretty. We got to stay on top of them. As long as these white ones keep dying, dude, we might be all right. Right now, the damage output is really good, and we only get stronger throughout the fight. We keep scaling, so. Oh my god, let's go. This is a build, baby. This is a build. <laughs> Not that. Knockback force, maybe. All knives thrown by rogues. We have, like, rogue... We're about to have rogue three, I believe. We're about to have Rogue 3, yeah. Attack speed is sick. By Vagrant? I think I'm ditching Squire. I want to try to make a run work without Squire anyway. I've been like sick of carrying him. So yeah, I'm going to make myself happy and take Chrono instead. <laughs> put him in more. Don't put Priest on the edge either. Put him on the edge. Followed by... Barrager and Hunter. The f Anybody want to have a little sip with me? We're just sipping. We're just sipping. We're just sipping. It's late. It's late night, guys. It's late night. It's late night. We out here. We get we get rowdy at night. Don't do not tell the early misfits. All right. <laughs> we out. We're good. We're we're out here chilling. <laughs> this gives us rogue three. Does he shoot daggers? No, he does not shoot daggers. We hold him anyway. Hold him as cannon fodder. All knives thrown by rogues. Do we ever go swarmer? No. Do we ever go assassin? Throws a piercing knife. Not so bad on the rocks, y'all. I'm not a scotch person. I'm not a scotch person. I like this build right now. I'm, I'll keep in mind that we did take out Squire. We're gonna be squishier. What was it? Barbecue. Yo, good looks. No, no, it's good. It's good. Thank you. Olive. Big Fierce hooking it up. We got some beef jerky. And we got some whiskey. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for joining me tonight. I appreciate it. I thought we were going to have a cute little crowd. We have so many of you here. I don't know how I got so lucky. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the games and the content and all the funky stuff that we play. I'm bringing things to twitch.tv. I feel like I feel like all the big dogs. I feel like all the big dogs like don't like us because we like 
play everything first or something. I don't know. I feel like I got no love from all the big heavies. There's like all these like indie clicks right now, and like no one mentions like SD. Like we're like the unspoken black sheep or something. And it's so funny because they wrote an article for Snake, and they said like how we were the first ones to bring it to Twitch and stuff, but like you don't hear nobody mention our name down down not to say SD. Dolphin Ashley meant dude Dolphin's a homie dude Dolphin is a homie I've, I've heard him I've heard uh, him say cool things it's cool man like I just want I just want like recognition dude sometimes dude yeah getting hosted by frag and like frag recognizing the stream and stuff has been like my greatest accomplishment over the years um just because he's been an inspiration before i became a streamer anyway um i just want my recognition dude honestly that's literally it dude like i'm out here for four years now delivering the most crazy content high energy high commentary on twitch.tv but no one shall mention us like it what is that? Like, what? why? Are people, like, scared or something? Like, what is it? I don't know. I just want to be, like, recognized as well, you know? Maybe that's just me, but I don't know. I, I notice it. I notice it. I don't know. Like, I shout out all the homies and, like, cool content creators. Like, I don't know, dude. Like, how many times am I like, yo, go check this person out. It's awesome. Like, or it's a lot of fun. Your game niche? That's not true, though, because there's people that play what I play, but even less. <laughs> so it's not true. It's not true. That's not true at all. There's people that, like, there's, like, an indie niche that, like, you know, they're out there. They just, you know, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Uh, if all of my units die, is it supposed to be game over in Vivid Night? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's not true. That's not true. That is a very past tense way of thinking. Look at indie games are bigger than ever. Look at like Hades. Look at uh, look at all look at all the bigger content creators that are now dabbling with indies more than ever. It's it's not true at all. I mean, I see where you're coming from, but I think that's more of an old school way of thinking. I, I do think flip I do think that's part of it and I'm curious what you guys think I think that I play games so ahead of everybody and ahead of the wave I do think this and I'm not saying this in a cocky way I'm saying I it makes sense that I think we play games so ahead of the wave that when the wave gets there we're always ahead of them I do think that's I do think that's part of it what do you guys think about that I I do I do really think that and I'm not saying that in a cocky way, I'm saying, like, in a bad way for us. <laughs> because before the masses or anybody even knows about the game, the misfits do, because we're on top of it, but before anybody else does, and before they're looking for the game, they're waiting for Joe Schmo to showcase it and then go, Oh, snap, SD, did you see that game? And I'm like, bro, we showcased it, like, three months ago. Where were you? You know what I'm saying? And I, and I do think that that could be hurting me. And I don't know what to do about it. Do I be slower and not, like, be who we are? Like, what do I do, you know? Well, I don't, I don't care about Last Spell. That's definitely, like, all hype right now. Guys, take a step away from Last Spell for a second. Even thinking the game is cool. And the game is cool. How boring is that game to watch? I'm just gonna be straight up. The game is sweet. How boring is Last Spell to watch? <laughs> that game will die in, like, a week. Don't trust me. It's so boring to watch. <laughs> <laughs> like here comes the mobs and like from like a viewer standpoint it's like oh my god i don't know i find it so boring it's always the same screen it's always the horde and it's like your three four units doing like aoe it's so boring so i promise you that's gonna die in like a week <laughs> that game is so boring to watch again it's a great game it's a great game it's just boring as hell to watch so yeah i, I don't care about that hype train <laughs> Just speaking the truth. Just speaking the truth. It's a it's a dope game. It's a dope game. I just it's boring as hell to watch.
Nah, I'm never gonna ride the trail of the big streamers, dude. We're ahead of the big streamers. I'm not gonna slow down. Now, but what I do agree with is finding... I do believe that I have to grow in a way where when I find a fire game and I think that the mainstream audience is going to catch up eventually and it's going to be a big thing, I think that I have to get rid of my... I do think I have to get like hold back my video game ADD and like play it longer, play the things that I enjoy longer. Yeah, we, we're doing the YouTube thing all thanks to Vault uh, right now. So we are in the YouTube game. No, yeah, so Brock is right. It's not about following the, the big streamers follow my tail, right? I bring games to Twitch. It, it is what it is. But then the hype is following. So the hype is not following me, right? I bring things to Twitch and I'm ahead of them, but they don't know about me. So the hype is here. And so when this person shows the game, then the cat, you know, then the herd is behind them. You see what I'm saying? And so I'm like, yo, check out this game. And then showing the next hype game, unless it's really hype. And then the herd is gets there. You see what I'm saying? So we're already, we're always ahead of it. So it hurts me. It hurts me. I saw the same thing happen to Loop Hero. Yeah, I was I I bombed Loop Hero, dominated Loop Hero, and then like a week later it got really hype, and I was like almost done with the game already. You just see what I'm saying? It hurts until people realize this is where it happens. Yeah. So we're slowly taking steps to help that, um, and we might be introducing a website soon, where people can follow the website and get these weekly updates and see every game that i played for the week and bullet points on like my feedback yo really cool really like how it did this really like how it did this this was oh i didn't care for this but i still think it's a really good game to pick up uh and then whether it's for me or not like yo this game was for me and i highly recommend it or you know this game wasn't for me but it's really dope i still recommend it and there's gonna be like that kind of thing and you can pull up the bullet points um, we're, we've been talking about something like that and that way when people start to catch word and see that we're always ahead of it there's going to be a big list there where people know they can go like get information it might start to attract people towards the stream and realizing that we're always ahead of it so we're going to be taking some steps soon um, not only that, I have a couple other things in mind for that web page, like showcasing uh, other content creators that I care about and cool stuff, but I don't want to give it all away right now. I have no idea, Suwaku. I have no idea who that is or what that is. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> I get sidetracked. Roll for higher levels. <laughs> Do you guys think that this is the build for the most part? Do you think this got Do you think this build can make it? Whoa. blade wait is this new why have i never seen this is this new <laughs> blade throw multiple blades that deal aoe maybe i've seen it and never took it taken it but anyway it's a late night stream so i'm giving you guys all the secrets we are definitely working on things i'm back what are we talking about um we're talking about like kind of like hurting my uh, odds of new people finding the stream because i'm always ahead of people finding new games before the mainstream people show those games and then they become hype i'm already ahead of it and it happens all the time we hear it all the time 
how many times do you see yo did you see that game yet and i'm like bro i played that a long like i already tried to show you that game a long time ago you know what i mean and it's actually hurting me being ahead of the ball and i don't know how to hybrid to do what we do but at the same time not hurt myself doing it and if you guys have ideas i'm i do think that's a big part of it I just want to be recognized, guys. I've been putting in the work, man. I just want to be recognized. I think Saikido is really good here. But I don't think we need it. I think it helps, though. <laughs> it doesn't work like that, Sawaku. <laughs> You guys should help me like you guys should call me out i'm gonna be straight up like you guys feel free to call me out like if you know that i really enjoy the game and you didn't see it and then it gets popular like a week later like like you know feel free to call me out be like yo you really like this game and now it's popular maybe we should hit it some more you know Yo, could you imagine me role-playing? <laughs> I don't know how I would <laughs> I don't know how I would do it. <laughs> That'd be so funny though. I'd rock out with it for sure, but How important is it to throw Psychino in here? We already like pierce and bounce and stuff. I, I don't know if it's that important actually. We do a lot of uh, tracking and bouncing to different units and I don't think we need them to gather up. We only need them to gather up if we're actually like throwing an AOE out like mage. I don't, maybe we don't need it. Maybe that's just a, uh, you know, it's bait. Everyone takes Saikino. It's just a good unit, but I, I don't know if I actually need it here. We do get Saikino for our uh, Psyker for, but I think we're good without it. And I was never planning on going higher on mage. I think that content's a little slow for this channel, but that's just me. What are we talking about? Uh, role playing? It would be funny. That would actually be really funny, I think. GTA. I wonder how I would handle it. Oh no. Does this guy randomly shoot? Oh my god, let's go. Anyway, thanks for bearing with the SD rants. I really want an SD rant emote, by the way. I don't get the GTA. There's some really funny GTA role players, actually. I I remember introducing uh, uh, Sam to it and some people to it, and they were like hooked. Plus 5% damage to all allies whenever an enchanter is hit. Plus 20% healing effectiveness. I think we're going to do this. Remember that we have a lot of things doing damage to our own party. There's the Flagellant whipping himself. And there's Immolate. Yeah, I think Blessing is actually in order here. This will be our sustain. There's Assassin. There's Scout. You know, keeping this early party like this also means that we got a lot to level 3. You know what I mean? So there's upsides to it as well. Like, look, we're popping off right now. Kind of. Sag. Very Sag. Oh, we didn't take Cleric. We don't need it. We're good. We're chilling. One more. I never ran Assassin before, by the way. Man, was, was New Game Plus 4 the hump and now we're just going to fly through? Maybe I just had some learning opportunities and now we're chilling. Oh no. Oh my God, he didn't shoot. I can't believe it actually. We gotta kill that guy. Nice. You can see all the daggers are just bouncing around. It doesn't matter that they're pulled together by what's his face, you know? Like that would've just been bait. It's just what people fall on. Cause it's good. And I love when you can say no to a good unit. I love that, baby. And we took Squire out of our deck. And we took Squire. So we get double brownie points if this wins. <laughs> Not saying that we're gonna win, but if we do. I think you would be amazing. I love GTA. 
I feel like GTA role playing is the new second life. <laughs> is it called No Pixel? It, it, it's No Pixel, uh, Gunther. Yeah, there's a lot of like bigger streamers that do it. It's if you find the right person, it could actually be really funny. Like if they really get into it and stuff, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I actually really like when they don't play with Cam for that too. I also recommend like finding somebody that doesn't play with Cam. It it's more immersive that way. It's really good. Sometimes it's really, really funny. <laughs> I didn't get it, and then when I like started to watch it like months ago, I was like, okay, I get it. This is hilarious. <laughs> I'm more into the RD2. What is that, Red Dead? Do people roleplay that? I have New Game Plus 2 and earlier managed to let it fall through my fingers, kill the last boss and all, and died. Oh my god, magic, no, <laughs> not like this. <sighs> One day we should do a role playing stream, guys. That would actually. I don't know about GTA. I, I, I don't even know. How, I, it's probably hard to get on a no pixel server. I don't even know, but. One day. I can't go down in my career. The Misfits and SD and never do a real playing game to look back on, you know, to look back on. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Ow. Wait, did we kill a green so fast that he didn't get to trigger everybody? This build is awesome. It's like an assassin build. It's just a bunch of throwing daggers. <laughs> Yo, tell me you guys have seen the movie, um, Ninja Assassin? Ninja Assassin? Cost five dollars. And you just have to ask to get in. I also don't play on console. Wait, do you, can you play on PC? <laughs> The gory B movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. So Jester is rogue and it doesn't shoot knives, but it makes enemies explode on into knives. Do you think that synergizes with flying daggers and stuff? All knives thrown by rogues. I would say no, that's unfortunate. I love it because it was so cheesy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was awesome. Very cheesy. Silencer, this is... Is this new? <laughs> this is new, right? Are they stealthily... I think this dev is stealthily putting in new people. Curse enemies to make them not use their special? Are you kidding me? This is sick. You would have to get him to curse them. Maybe from the last update? You might be right. Maybe I just didn't roll it. Oh, interesting. What about Blade? Blade was in too? Interesting. Oh, uh, we just hit a level three. Very interesting build. I'm wrong. I'm, I'm digging it. Uh, we're about to hit tier three mage. Also remember that either him or the Chrono Master, hopefully him, because Chrono Master doesn't have an attack, uh, gets the extra attack speed, doubles their attack speed. Super sick. Those are big hits. We just hit a lot of tier threes. Wait a second. One of the classes gets worse when you tier three them and goes like invulnerable. Oh no. Was that the mage? I hope not. Yeah, it was the mage. Okay, so when the mage is grayed out, you can see him in the front. He's like faded. Uh, he's invulnerable for six seconds. Like this. 
So at, while he's invulnerable, though, he doesn't shoot. That's why I call it a downgrade. In this build, I just want people to shoot people, but... I don't think we wanted to upgrade him. But it's fine. We'll just try to keep it in mind and face tank people with them or something. No, two deaths. And we just bumped a white all the way to the corner. Uh... Curse duration, knockback force, and all warriors have up to 50% attacks. No. I'm going to reroll, actually. All enemies move slower. Crits from rogues deal eight times damage, but normal attacks deal half. I don't think we're ever going to Rogue 6, right? We're nowhere near Rogue 6, right? Man, these suck. I think I'm just gonna do enemies move slower. <laughs> I didn't want to roll again. Fairy is a hit. <laughs> no, it's fine. Blues. Try to use the invulnerable intangible and just tank all the blue. Did I do it? Did I just do it there? Here, wait, don't kill him yet, don't kill him yet. Now? Oh my god, he got obliterated. <laughs> he instantly died. I try to stay in a straight line so I wouldn't eat all the blues. I think that's the strat. I think this build could make it, but I'm a little nervous. I want a summoner build with illusionist. We gotta try to do this sometime. I want a conjurer build. If you guys had to guess, what do you think the new mode would be like that he's gonna add to the game? That it's supposed to like really double down on like replayability and stuff. He said that like, there's gonna be a new mode that this game ha has like too many limitations and it's gonna like a new mode that's gonna like break that. Uh, it's gonna be really interesting. Uh, whites. Oh man, let's go. Good. Good. I was hoping there wasn't a blue one in the middle. That would have sucked. Nice dodge. Somebody died there? Maybe Flagellant killed himself? <laughs> Yo, what's up with the new Fantasy Star Online, man? I love the old one. Me and Big Fears used to go in on the old Fantasy Star, dude, when we were young. We popped off on that game. Yeah, GameCube! GameCube! I popped off, bro. I had legendaries like crazy. Elite wave, guys. What does purple do? I don't even know. Swarmers, right? We're good against swarmers. It's fine.
attacking by mages, nukers, or voiders. I'm pretty sure we have a voider that throws daggers that pierces, right? This person? Isn't this person part voider? How many times do you have to beat New Game Plus to get to the next level? Every time you beat the New Game Plus, you go to the next one. Hmm. Did you click the button? Weird. Try hitting escape and then click on... Uh, there's a button for it. Try clicking that. Curses apply doom. Um... Plus 10% damage, defense, and attack speed to all allies with at least one enchanter. I think we're rocking two enchanters. I could just split them up. I don't see anything else here. We can also reroll. <laughs> Arrows fired by rangers have a 40% chance to sneak. Oh, dude, we're taking that, I think. Yeah. I think we're running three archer right now. Nope, never mind. <laughs> we have a lot of archers. Great. And now we have homing. Blade. I love the Blade movies, dude. Starting with the first two, and then went extremely downhill, but the first two were fire. They can't do wrong. Maybe screwed up at the end? Yeah. You can beat that one very fast, though. Take it as a learning opportunity. This might be a dub. The opening rave stuff. Oh my god, dude. Just setting the tone of the movie. Ah, oh, so good, man. And him showing up. Daywalker. Bro, our first run and we're just popping off here. You know why? It's because we're not going warrior. I hate to say it. Warrior might be like going fire in Vivid Night. Do it later in the game. <laughs> Econ and do it later. And then by later, I mean never. This wants to be in my build so bad. Oh, did we ever... Oh, never mind. I swapped to enchant. Dude, do we just get another ranger in the build here? Like, what am I doing with myself, man? I think we really want another ranger. I don't know if they recognize that this is over the button. By they, I mean he. Always bump against the wall for good luck and for the sound effect. Thank me later. The homing daggers are so good. They also like CC. Like they push people around. They're like, it's amazing. Uh, what is yellow? Oh, tanks, tanks, tanks. You don't see them often. Just a late game unit. Yeah, yellow? They also have reduced movement speed, so we are chilling. We're also scaling throughout the fight. I wish they would buff, like, bump into wall to shoot bullet or whatever. Like, small chance to shoot bullet. Like, they need to buff those. I feel like they're useless. Maybe I'm bad. Like what? We take Corruptor? This would give us Ranger? What would I get rid of? What would I ditch? be easy to do it guys i i don't see anything that i could i would have to be him this would be the only thing that i see that we could ditch and we would lose some of our healing and this is probably like keeping us making us tankier a 
term. Welcome to the after hours. Come on in. Grab a sheet. Stay a while. The thing is, Magician is the one that's getting Awakening right now. That's why we only want to run with one attacking mage. We would lose... I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could do it. We could ditch... We could ditch Assassin? Not even? What did I say it would have to be? It would have to be the Psykeeper, Keeper, and that's scary. I don't... We could ditch the Psy Keeper. It would improve our damage output a lot. How, how much do you think he's helping here? He's making us a lot tankier, right? All damage taken is stored. I actually don't know exactly what this guy does. So any damage that we take, he just soaks up. And then like heals us with it. Sounds busted. I only want it because it gets us to ranger. It gets to the other ranger level, which is really good with our perks. What do you guys think? Can I get away with it? We also don't need to change, and we're probably fine where we are, but... All he does is... You know what he does? He gives us sustain for blue people. He gives us sustain for blue guys. That's what he does. Otherwise, blue guys just kill us. Maybe we find a better ranger. Is there another ranger? I'm just gonna keep clicking on them, don't mind me. <laughs> Is that what he does? He takes damage for himself? Mm, and then he heals all, everybody with it. He takes damage and heals everybody. Mm, that makes sense that you're- now that you're saying it, it makes sense. I wish I swapped. <laughs> yeah, now we're gonna move him. I- that makes sense though. That does make sense. I don't know if the front is more likely to take damage here or the back. <laughs> Alright, we might replace him. Getting Dual Gunner to tier 3 would be Pog. No way, Therm. Let's go. Magic Pope's a huge hit to you. Magic Pope's always here. Let's go. Thank you, Therm. Appreciate that. How do you guys like the... Uh, give me the vibes on the late night stream. Are we are we digging? Maybe you're, you're, you're finally home from work. Maybe you're chilling. Maybe you put the kids to bed. Kick him back. Maybe you got Netflix on the other screen. What, what's what's good? Maybe you just got out the shower. You're about to get ready for bed. You got SD on the TV, on the monitor. What's up? <laughs> Are we vibing? Do I do that more? What's up? We about to hit a new crowd. We about to hit the late night crowd. They about to be like, yo, who is this guy? Why have I never heard of him? Why have I never heard of the Misfits? Because you've been sleeping. Uh, somebody just got obliterated. 
All right, we need the back line to take damage. You're right, dude. That is how he works. You're so right. Oh my god. Why didn't I ever think of that? That makes so much sense. Uh, we're losing people a little too quick for my liking. Imagine shooting extra barrages right now instead of him. Yeah, I'm swapping off of him. And what build do you put him in now that I think about it? You like put him in front or something? GG's. This is a dubski. This is a dubski. I haven't been sleeping right ever since I found this place. I should move to NA. Don't move over here, bro. <laughs> you're probably better off where you're at. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a scary place over here. Definitely scarier like a year ago. Less scary now, but. Trying to make glitter in a game? I just finished updating my Steam reviews for you. Oh my god. Where's Voltage? Yo, Voltage. <laughs> Get, can you hook up Flip and Berserk? Voltage is off hours. I'm doing two streams. He's like, end me. I think Canada has healthcare. I went for a run. I actually went for a run today. So this is our second stream. So in the middle, I went for a run, decided to vibe out. Uh, plus 25% damage over time. Uh, that helps our assassin. 20% uh, chance to create. I don't know in what world you do like a damage over time build. Because in this game, you want to kill people fast, not later. You know? Like, it, you already... Like, the time to kill is very fast already. Why? In what world do you take this? You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't, I don't understand it. Understand it. Like, I could see getting away with it, but it also just feels, like, wasted, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't doubt that you can win with it, but it also just seems not great. I don't know. This helps the mage, I guess. Yo, BS Ben, what up, dude? Periodically deal 10 times damage with how many mages. We reroll this. These are all bad. This is what we want right here. No, this is the up close one. We want the opposite. Budge. I almost fell for that bait and none of you were gonna stop me. Damn it, we got it again. I want the other one. All enemies take plus 20% damage? Wait, I've never seen this one. I've seen the scary face one where they have less HP. Does that still exist or do they change it to this? I mean, this is <laughs> this is fine with me, dude. That only makes us scale faster. Wow, I've n how is there things in this game that I still never seen? I've never seen this one. What the hell? That's a good roguelike right there when you still bump it into random like RNG and stuff. I'm using my wrong chat, and that's why I'm looking all the way down here. Oh, uh, that's better. That's better! Oh, wait, we want a ranger. Why am I rolling so hard? Good luck, pump. I should just put him in front. Honestly, I should just put him in front. Look at that damage! At this point, it's not about tanking. It's just about killing and killing faster. 
Hey, look, I have the build where if you turn in a circle, you just shoot. Just kidding, I don't. Let's run. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't. I think the flagellant just killed himself. The priest couldn't keep up with the self whipping. But we also have a ton of damage now. Also because of immolate. That's also true that these long waves, the time we get to the end, immolate procs so much that we just make everyone disappear, see? <laughs> It looks like new game plus one. Homing is such a big hit. Oh my god, we need a barrage. Archer. This is what we want? Okay. I'm doing it. Any tips for a starter? Honestly, you could probably grab like any matches and do something really cool I would like literally look for like the first artifact thing you get first and second artifact thing you get and play around it and just ride it The very first like we won the first like three runs we've ever done like My healer archer didn't work It could also be like you your movement maybe and like how you're moving around maybe like never never uh, try not to stay in the middle and don't stay on the four corners and that's it like everywhere else is okay like you want to stay like not those places you know what i mean <laughs> if they spawn on you that's like the main way they end your run besides blue people i'll show you what i mean I'm sure chat also probably has some tips. Oh my god, we are hitting. Oh my god. I'm so used to TFT. Iceboxer, thank you so much for the 27 months of support, my friend. Good evening. It's a long time to support your boy, baby. How did I get so lucky? We're hard rolling here just because we're towards the end of the game here. And I want to make sure that we secure this victory here first try. We'll stay at 15. I think we got a lot of hits there. We have a lot of tier threes and we have uh, upgraded ranger. So we're going to shoot even more barrages now and even more homing. Look, <laughs> and remember that we also scale the longer we're alive. I wonder if I leave one person up. Do we have more time to scale? I wonder if that's part of the strategy or do they spawn? Oh my God, that's actually big. I wonder if that's a big part of the game. Oh my god, we're dying. The flagellant's gonna kill himself. Like, watch how much damage we do. Like, that, those were tanks. Those are yellow tanks. Oh my god, I wonder if that's actually a big part of, like, high level game. You have to have healers on point, obviously, but... So, like, this is where you want to be, like, this area. Not in the middle. <laughs> like, right there? Oh, bad idea. <laughs> Luckily, our build is really busted right now. So it doesn't matter.
<laughs> New game plus five, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh my god, when you when you just hit? When you just hit? Oh my god, I'll take another hit, please. That's beta. Uh we are pretty much at the end of the game here. So we are rolling. Cannoneer did hit level two already, which feels real good, man. I don't even know what we have anymore. I need one more barrager. Don't do this to me, game. There she is. There she is. Do we go for flagellant? Cannon air, we just got too late. Kung Fu, what's up, baby? Ouroboros perk, yo, facts. I'll take a hit for you. <laughs> Yo, let's go. All right, we want to kill and like leave one person out. Oh wait, this is the elite wave. We just kill. Never mind. Only blood. Stop giving me this one. I want the far away one. Oh. Have you on the big screen? I'm on TV! What's up? First of all, I want to thank all my fans that believed in me. <sighs> I don't know where I'd be without you guys for, for believing in me. All right, this is where we hit guaranteed. Fledgling dual gunner coming up right up. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Do the right thing. 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 When you get no hits on the last <laughs> freaking roll down. Oh my god, that's so annoying. <laughs> We got priests. We got there. All right. I guess I'm happy with that. What does priests do at the next level anyway? Pick three units at random and grant them a buff that prevents death. All right, GG's. Look at this. Look at that damage.
We're on new game plus six, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, what? It is inspired by Dota Underlords and Nimble Quest. I didn't even... This is new. Wait, I don't have any more new game pluses? I beat the game? What is Nimble Quest? Nimble Quest, lead... Oh, I've seen this before. I played this in the past. Before I was like... Before auto battlers were a thing. I wonder how, if I would like it even more now that I actually like auto battlers even more. Like, I wonder how it holds up. Is it, does anybody have that on Steam? Hmm. Huh. Interesting. What do you think of, uh, Terranil? What is Terranil? I don't even know. Wait, do I know? Terranil? Terranil. I didn't manage to make glitter. Only for duel on my friends list. Bro, wait, did I, like, beat the game, beat the game? <laughs> Bro, we just bodied that. Oh, yeah, 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 the reverse city builder where you're, like, supposed to, yeah, 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 I, I think it looks awesome, Kung Fu. I'm actually really excited for it. I hope that there's, the biggest thing for me would be, like, I hope there's, like, actual gameplay and it's not sandboxy. Do you know what that, do you know what I mean by that? Like, those sandboxy games that look like that one, you know, that, like, they're cool, but, like, you play it a couple times, and then you just keep it moving. Or, like, if it has, like, some cool gameplay elements and stuff like that, you know, if you could actually lose, <laughs> that'd be really cool. Oh, I didn't know there was an itch demo. Interesting. And it seems solid already. Yeah, I didn't even know what the hook that was called. That's interesting. Yeah, the game looks really beautiful. I'm excited about it. I'm also curious about the one that's about to come out this month that I don't, the runner or whatever. To me, it looks really easy, but it looks a lot of fun. Um, but I didn't get to watch any of the gameplay of it. Guys, we beat the game already.